in the process of reconstructing the body of Emmett Till. We're going to use this union all to reconstruct the body of Emmett Till. So we're going to take these plastic bags and we're just going to stuff them right inside of this union all. Again, the plastic will help me to shape the body the way I want it to be shaped so that if I need to make it smaller, I can make it smaller. If I need to make a section larger, I can make it larger. But now that I'm at this process, this is where, as a funeral director, we really would dress the person. So now, Mr. Till is dressed. And he looks like a person. Material that I have gathered to make the hands for Emmett Till. So what I have are clear plastic gloves. Examination gloves that I'm sure you have seen in the past at your doctor's office or a dentist's office in various places. So what we're going to do is we're going to stuff this glove to make the hands of Emmett Till. The shape of this hand now has the shape of my hand. So if I lay it here and you look at it, that's my hand. This is the hand that we're gonna use. From my fingertips to my wrist, this looks like my hand. And you see that shape? It looks like a hand. No longer does it look like a glove. And no longer does it look like paper. It now looks like the hand of a person. And so now when we finish this process, what we're going to do is we're going to airbrush this hand with a airbrush so that it will take on the color of skin. We'll airbrush this and that won't take place until we actually do the face because we want to be able to airbrush it all at one time to make sure that there's consistency with the color of the face and also the color of the hand. So now I've done this, but I want to make sure that this hand stays like this. I don't want to have to keep shaping it over and over again. So in order to do that, what I do is I take some regular school glue, and we're going to take this school glue and squeeze it down into this glove. And I'm not going to take it down to the fingers yet. I'm just going to squeeze it in there. And there's plenty of it there. In this position, as the glue dries, this will harden and that hand will look like the shape of my hand, which will look like a human hand, and it will be the hand of Emmett Till. The next time we are recording, we will be recording the molding of the face, finishing of the hand and the face with the cosmetics, and then we will apply the hair. Good evening. Tonight we're going to be completing the production, um, the pulling together of Emmett Till's body. This is the most emotional part of my process because prior to this we worked on the body and we worked on the hands. But now we put a face to it. You've got this eye up here that is in pretty much the normal position of an eye. And I'm going to re-sculpt that again just a little bit. And then this eye is down here out of socket and out of position. We've got the bridge of his nose and we've got his mouth and we've got his chin. Her heart told her 
that the world needed to see what was done to her son and because of her action we get to relive and re-experience what that mother went through which I, I, I commend her for being brave enough to want to share with the world what her precious child went through. All the family members of Emmett Till must have been going through something unimaginable when they had to to go and say their farewells to him and see such a catastrophic situation. It's hard enough to say goodbye to a child, but to say goodbye to a child that looks like, for lack of a better word, a monster created by prejudice. It's, it's just heartbreaking. Okay, we have completing the sculpting of um, the face for Mr. Emmett Till. And now what we're gonna do is just airbrush it. Reason we're gonna airbrush it is because if we try to apply this makeup in a normal fashion by rubbing it on with a brush or a sponge, the actual clay would move around. So I'm gonna use a eyeliner and just rub it on this little brush here so that we get just enough to just dab it on. You can't, don't want to touch it too much because we don't want to uh, disturb the, the clay itself. And we're just going to apply a little eyelash and like so. But you can see that it's just going to sit there just enough to give them the appearance of having some eyelashes. We're here to make sure that that is what the people see. And so there you have it. That okay, scuffly yep. looking look. Look at that scuffly looking look right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 